What's going on? You're now tuned into the Bona Levi experience. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Chase locking up some ATMs at 5 p.m. due to NYC crime. This is crazy, y'all. So it looks like Chase Bank is no longer letting people have access to their money around the clock anymore. I knew this was going to happen, though. You know what I'm saying? I, I already knew this was going to happen uh, slowly but surely. But, you know, let's read this article, man. Right. It says. New York, some chase ATMs in the city are no longer available around the clock. Chase Bank announced that various ATM vestibules will be closed at the same time as the branches due to rising crime and vagrancy, right? Um, in response to a tweet calling a locked ATM annoying, Chase Support said that it decided to close several ATM vestibules at 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. A company spokesman said, that the lockdowns may be temporary. Always remember this, man. Right? This is what they usually say just to calm you down. Yeah, this is just going to be temporary. You know, it's not going to be for too long. Yeah, we, I, it's, we heard that in 2020. With the whole lockdown situation. You know? It was only supposed to be, you know, just for a month. That thing went on for how long, man? So it says it is not clear. It says it is not clear which locations are affected, but Fox Five News saw one on the Upper East Side that is now closing nightly at 10 p.m. New York City Mayor Eric Adams says he understands why banks would want to close early. And here's the quotes. People don't want to walk into their ATM and see someone urinating. See someone screaming and yelling. Adam says, "Yeah, um, that's a that's a known thing here in the city in New York City, uh, with the homeless. They uh usually spend nights in the ATMs or I mean by the ATM machines or inside of the Chase ATM area. You get the ATM, so I mean that is an issue, right?" It says this is an ongoing trend in New York City, right? But um, I already knew this stuff like this was going to happen. Um, I remember at one point the, the daily limit that, was able, that you was able to withdraw from the ATM was 1,500 at one point. And it's just dwindling. I think now the maximum, the maximum daily limit that, you could, that you're allowed to take out now is 1,000. Pretty, pretty soon it's going to go down to 500 then you're not going to be able to take out anything right so uh i'm not going to i'm not going to sit here and, and and act like crime is not up here in in this city i mean there's a lot of crime going on in new york city but um yeah i just feel like i don't really think that this is going to stop crime I don't, I don't know what does you what what does locking up the, the the chase ATMs at 5 p.m. Like, how is that going to stop someone from robbing a deli? Or how is that going to stop someone from, you know, creating a crime that, that has nothing to do with a bank? I don't, I don't know, guys. I mean, this to me, it just don't sit well with me. It's, it's kind of, it sounds kind of strange, but like I said, anything, anything, anything can happen now. It's 2023. We're seeing a lot of things being put in place. Uh, I don't know what's next, but we're going to continue to follow this, man. But um, do me a favor, guys. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Help a brother out. But yeah, man, let me know your thoughts. Um, let me know your thoughts in the description. In the, in the description, excuse me, in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you guys think. What you guys think is, is, is up next, man. You know, locking up the ATMs. Next thing you know, locking up the whole branch. Um, you know, I, I did cover about the, the rollout of the, the CBDC. Uh, 
um, central bank digital currency. So I don't know. Is this a trial? I don't know, man. Because pretty soon banks is going to be obsolete. Ain't going to be no need for banks anymore. You know, you're not going to need to, you're not going to need a teller. You're not going to need an ATM because everything is going digital. So I don't know, man. You guys tell me what you guys think, man. And uh, let's keep our eyes open at all times. All right. I'll see you guys on the next one.